So, the reason we saved Roy for this world and not like a different one, he's sometimes the desert Roy, is that he can dig. He can go into the ceiling, he can go into the floor, he can hide wherever. It's it's great. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna experiment with ways we can have Roy dig. Only ten more levels. Uh as of last night, I did delete two levels. So technically the count right now is incorrect. we we're missing two two levels from the what we've done. I deleted uh last night I deleted the the frog one, amazing frog, and I deleted um uh, dinosaur laser fight. We're gonna, they're gonna be redone. Here's what I'm gonna do. We're gonna build a test boss room, and sometimes what happens is the test boss room will become the boss room. Okay, so the way Roy works actually gave me an idea. It's a little jank, but I kind of want to explore it. Now, here's the thing: when Roy, when you're fighting Roy, Roy will go in and out of pipes. Like that's kind of well, not in and out of pipes. He'll go in and out of holes that he kind of creates out of nothing. So what I was thinking about was what if I just put pipes everywhere on the ceilings and on the floor, right? And then when we're fighting Roy, it's going to look like he's going in and out of pipes. Oh, that looks so good. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted. Maybe I could make this a little weird and have like, like, d like the pipes cut, like doing this. This is where things are going to start getting weird. Real weird. You know what I mean? This is a really stupid idea. Let's just try this. Oh, that's cool. That's- that's pretty cool. Twisters? Um... We did use them in the world, so it wouldn't put it... I wouldn't say no, but let me just see, because Twisters might actually create some problems for the, the level. Also, when they're stacked like that, they don't work that great. I actually like this. All right, let's rebuild this structure. Hmm. What if I did this? It'd make the level look nicer. I think that's a lot cooler. And we'll get more malls and we'll get them faster. Jesus. Oh my God, that's so many malls. It's okay, it works. Hmm. Might not need this anymore. The malls are very sneaky now, I agree. Yeah, I think this is really solid right now. Like, I like this a lot. It wasn't what I was originally intending, but uh, honestly, it gives me the underground feel, which I like. When a screen lock, um, it just when you have extra mechanics like this down here, screen lock can get a little janky, so I just. But I think it'd be fine now. Um, but judging by this, the screen won't be a problem. I just don't think screen lock is super necessary right now. Only thing that's gonna suck is that you could still die to the moles <laughs> even when the fight is over. Oh my god, that's that's rough. Uh, I guess you know what? Fine, we'll do screen lock. I guess it's not breaking any mechanics. I was worried it would. I guess what I'll do is just have uh, this one of these pipes be the pipe that you like enter the the boss room in. Because if I entered here, I'm sure I can't get back up anyway. Oh, I, I might be able to actually. <laughs> but why would I want to? All right, uh, so as far as things go right now, let's think. We've got twisters, conveyor belts, pipes, moles. Could I build a difficult level out, out of that? I have no idea. I seriously doubt this will work, but... No shit! Huh. Huh. 
conveyor belts can can actually hide Monty Malls. I didn't know that. Okay. So you could build... You could build mine shafts, right? Where you have malls on the top, right? And they're following you. So let, let me try... I'm gonna try out a mechanic right now. My, I can, I can feel my gear, my gears turning here. I'm just struggling to figure out what the hell this is going to be. Yeah, let me try it. I don't think this, I, I, I'm gonna be surprised if this works because I thought they, they would move regardless. Wow, it actually balances, huh? Stack a twister on top of the moles. I don't think you can stack twisters. I think they just, they they fall through things. So the fact that I was able to stack it on a, well, it's not technically stacked, it's just that the, the, um, the muncher has a uh, collision. I, I'm just surprised it doesn't fall off it, because if I put a... I'm pretty sure if I put a twister on top of anything else, it'll just go straight off it. No, it doesn't. Okay. I thought it did. Why did I think that? Maybe not. Twisters kind of suck, yeah. But... The other thing that's difficult is that... Yeah, if anything gets in the way of them, they'll fall. Okay. Uh, Ross, try putting a mole down, stack a muncher on it. Oh, yeah, that's valid. Huh. That's funny. Definitely, definitely a use for that. I haven't used icicles in the level, but you know what? I feel like I'm allowed to. What if you started with a mole underground and had it pop up and start moving with the stack? Maybe, yeah, that might work. Because then I could just do this. Oh, that's pretty funny. So imagine you're in a you're in a level, right? You see this, and you're like, oh fuck, right? So you start here. You see this guy, and you're like, fuck. All right, I gotta go here. Nope, that didn't work. And then you gotta get past him like that. See what I mean? So it kind of becomes a bit of a platform puzzle. Right? So you see that and you're like, shit, uh, here. And then round. I think that's a pretty good puzzle. Pretty simple too. I'm trying some really weird shit right now, guys. Give me a moment. I don't think this is a good idea. But if I put this here, I'll put this here. Would he... Would he catch it? In his little head? Nope. Okay. What if I use a donut? Yes! There we go. That's the answer. So, you can't get through. There we go. That's the solution. So you can't get through, no matter what. But his head catches catches it, which takes control of it, which lets me... There we go. This actually could be a, uh, a safeguard for the, the next section, right? In order to move on, you have to have done the puzzle. It works. That's a pretty cool puzzle. It's simple, and there's ways you can elaborate on it. Let's see if I can come up with a fancier, more difficult way to do this puzzle. Uh, let's see. Okay, I've got. I'm trying to come up with new ways to adapt this puzzle. Obviously, I'm like 
trying really hard to have something that works really well. That works. Hmm. <laughs> That's cute. I like that. It's just not as it's not definitely not as hard as the last one. I do think the tunnels giving a little sliding tunnel is fun. The only downside is I will say I will admit now that the uh, the twisters don't really play a huge part in the fight other than being present to boost up the malls, but like this is not totally wrong. Balancing on them is interesting. I think I'm gonna go call it now. We've got a lot done today. Very, very happy with what we have. Oh man, how am I gonna make this a longer, stronger, bigger level? Um, Cause I don't really wanna have any, uh, I don't really wanna have any, a lot of pauses and, and breaks in the level now. I wanna see if I can kinda keep it like a consistent flow. Spikes crawling on the ceilings. Uh, I don't wanna introduce too many mechanics, especially mechanics that are like, because, like, here's the thing. Yeah, I could do that. I could do, um... I could do fucking these dudes on the ceiling, and, you know, they're walking back and forward, and I have to balance, but then, you know, I also gotta worry about them falling off. But I don't wanna... Here's the thing. You guys, when I'm making a level, I don't wanna introduce something just because, you know, maybe it would solve some problem. I like to work with a limited tool set, a limited amount of objects, and try to build a level around that. Because when you start just bringing in stuff, because like, oh, well that would solve my problem, and, oh, that would solve my problem, and you do that too much, by the end of it, it's just fucking cluttered. There's just, there's no cohesion in it. So like, I'm trying to keep it pretty, uh, pretty tightly stuck together, you know? So like, that's actually sometimes why I, when I do in a boss level, I like to start backwards, do the boss, figure out some mechanics, and then I go, oh, okay. So using these items, what can I build that would, you know, use all those same things to kind of create a, a cohesive level? I don't want to do a P-switch, but I'm just going to test it to see if P-switches can be activated. I'm pretty sure they can, because I know Munchers can do that. That's pretty cool. This is getting really stupid. I'm just trying to figure this out. Wait, hold on, what happens when I stack a mall inside that? Does this keep moving? Wow! That's fucking crazy! So I could do this to hold it in place. Ha! <laughs> okay, that kind of works. down, move up, fuck, alright, that sucks, I mean I could just go no muncher, oh, I could use the the note thing, I haven't, I haven't done that yet, I don't really want to do this, but I guess I could, I, I'm like kind of considering the, the P switch right now, just to kind of solve a problem here, I don't like relying on it, but it might work. That works. That's not, guys, it's not, I don't think that's too many mechanics, honestly. It's easy to outrun right now. I say the treadmill is needed at the beginning. I think the treadmill is needed at the beginning just because we want him to get to it faster. So, we'll leave the treadmill in just at the beginning and put it at max maximum speed. So then the P-switch is actually still necessary to hold him in place. Oh, the P-switch doesn't deactivate the treadmill. Good point. Yeah, sorry. I gotta, I gotta turn, turn it to one of those. Wait, no. No, no, no. Uh, yes. I gotta do that. Hey, 
Right? No, that's on off. Oh no, that just turns off the treadmill. Fuck. Uh, right, it's on off switch. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Um, on off switch I'm not sure about right now because... Uh, what would I have to do? Okay, here's what I could do. Let me just test this out. Oh, right, I gotta start from the beginning of the puzzle. Munchers crush bombs. Oh, valid. Yeah, that's a good point. I wanna... Huh. That still works, though. Have malls come out and chase you? Um, yeah, I could do that. I definitely need more stuff to fuck with you while you're running. They will get killed pretty quickly from this, so let's just test them out. And then I gotta reverse the polarity back so it works through the whole run of the level. Right now, it's, 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 it's a little busted. Where are they? Oh, can they... Can they not spawn in hard blocks? Yo, what? They're stacked on the munchers? Do you think that's what it is? Yeah, it must be that. Oh, wild, dude. That's so weird. I, I had no idea that happened. Okay, um... So... It counts as a stack. All right, I guess I need spikes then. Or I can put tells that there are Monty Malls under there by just doing uh, spikes. I don't know. I don't really know what the right answer is here. I'm, I'm, my design's getting a little cluttered. I wasn't super big fan of that, but... I guess it's okay. Oh, that's... Yeah, that's great. So, if I was to roll one off... Let's say like this, right? And then there was a bunch of these bad boys like this. Could I create a wind tunnel? Oh, very good. I like that. Maybe the maybe the right answer is this. And you know, a ball chase could actually be pretty cool because um, we go into that in uh, the fourth world now. I forget the order. It's so so rando right now in terms of like what 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 is where. Uh oh. Interesting. It's a little slow. Oh, you know what I might need to do? I need to give it more speed. I've got the need, the need for speed. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make the mall walk up. And the mall is going to... I'm going to try and make the mall a little bit more of a problem up here. <laughs> Maybe I could have this guy drop malls down. Test this. This is getting really silly. <laughs> That's actually really cool. I like how they come they they come at you like out of out of frame. Change the munchers into a conveyor belt to speed the ball up, but not Mario. If I put a conveyor belt here, there's no danger of the ground disappearing. Because I can just jump on the conveyor belt. Unless this is two blocks high, which I can't do because I gotta jump over these guys, it's not gonna work. Can saws go on the conveyor belts? <sighs> yeah, but that's so many assets. I, I... <sighs> you could, but I feel like it's gonna look like shit. Mm. I'm a little iffy on it. We can try it. It, it, it will probably, honestly, it will probably work. Saws do work with the aesthetic. I will agree on that. Alright, it's a little fast, guys. 
conveyor belt on top. I might have to actually, yeah. Because he can't keep up anymore. Hmm. Maybe I could do this. I feel like we've been doing these little puzzle rooms, and they're really cool, but this doesn't really have anything to do with them. I feel like I need to swap over to a puzzle room in order for this to work. I'm just not feeling this. It's just not the vibe of the level at all. If I wanted to make it a running gauntlet, I should have done it from the beginning, which I'm not. But I'm glad I tried it. This bit is okay. I don't mind this bit. I think it could be really fun if I uh, kept it to the... Um, kept the roll fast, I guess. Okay, and then we can move into the next puzzle from here. Oof, that one's a little squeezy. I'm trying to think what I could do for a really creative puzzle here. Um, this is a difficult one. I got, I definitely have to think on this because I was thinking like maybe I could do something that uh, involved like the wind blowing up through a platform that would like knock something up, but I'm not sure. So what I could do is this, right? You could actually set it up like this, right? So you've got a bunch of these guys blocking the way. That's uh, an interesting idea. It looks jank, I agree. But let me just play with the idea a little bit. Please. I think the best, like to make this work, what I'm gonna have to do is bring it like so, right? It's really simple, actually. There it is. That's it. So you see that, and you're like that, and then you go like that. You just gotta make it tighter. Oh, then you could do them in the next row. Oh, I gotcha. Like this would be, uh, like you do it in three, maybe. I think that these ones can just be like this. Like, they're already up. So you see these ones go up and in. And that's kind of more like, hey, this is something you got to worry about. I could even go as far... Oops. I could even go as far as, like, making it really obvious that you don't want to go up there by doing that. I think that'll sell it a lot more. You could just book it at this point. That's the only thing. So I might need to create a way to get rid of these guys, maybe? Um, oh, I know, I know, I know exactly how to do this, but I could create a, 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 basically a door that, let me see, so what you'd have to do to get past this puzzle is that, then that, ah, oh, bait him back. Here's what I'm thinking, guys, this here. And then for the final puzzle, a checkpoint. All right, I think the same puzzle works pretty well there. This totally works. I think, I think I'm gonna call it for today. So we made the boss room first and then we did 
the level. So there are parts of this boss fight that feel a little bit disconnected from the rest of the level. And I was thinking about this last night. I don't know if this would just be kind of clutter or if this would actually make for an interesting boss mechanic. But I was thinking a little bit and I was like, man, maybe I should consider having... Uh, and I was thinking like maybe there's a way to put twisters in a level. I was thinking if there's like maybe a way I could work one into the design. I just don't know. Because like if they're in the boss level, they're gonna do this shit. I mean, that's kind of interesting. It's a little fucking weird, though. Maybe one twister? I'm just gonna- I'm just gonna try this. It might be a lost thought. I kind of like that he flies towards you on it, though. Spikes on the ceiling. You know what? There is a part of me that really likes that. Like, they were on the blue kind of thing. I also need to go through and, uh put pipes into the aesthetic of the level right now because there's a little bit of, uh, I kind of want to build up to the, the pipes being a part of the aesthetic. So I might want to like set up some blue pipes to hang stuff from. We'll, we'll, we'll see, we'll see. I'll definitely find the right answer. Maybe if the pipes were like above the level a little bit, I'm not really sure. I don't, I don't know. Like maybe that would look cool. And then the pipes kind of converge at the end. So you, like you see the pipes above the level like it's a sewage system, the colored pipes. I, I'm, I, I don't know. Like I thought about doing um, like pipes like this. Like the, at the entrances. You know what I mean? Kind of like that, maybe? I just worry that people would misread that a little bit. You know what I mean? I'm, I th I'm just gonna, you know what, I'm just gonna try all the different pipe colors and then, you know, we'll, we'll see how it looks and then if it looks like poo-poo, then we'll... we'll move on, you know? Oh, you know what? Because he's not spawning in ground, I can actually make the this, this section on pipes. So watch this. So the reason I'm not using pipes everywhere, guys, is because the, um, the problem that I'll, I'll, I'll get is that the, the moles can't jump out of pipes they can't they can't be buried in pipes which is a part of the design so unless i, I have it set up in that way i'm gonna kind of hit a hit a wall with it that looks pretty good you don't you don't see it though but do you see it down here oh you do see it down here which is cool so like here you come up and you see you see the pipe at least you see two of them uh, Russ, you can make the malls jump out of pipes if you pick up the pipe and drag it over the mall rather than the other way around. Which is how you've been trying. Really? I've never heard that. But look. I'm down to try it. What the fuck? Why? Why is that a thing? That would have been good to know. That would have been good to know. People were trying to say that last time. Man, how the fuck am I supposed to know that? He either go I just put him in and I'm like, oh yeah, that's right, he just go in the pipe. God. Oh, that's, that's good to know! Thank you. We got a lot of fixing to do now. Fuck me, dude. You, chat, you got a big sexy brain. You got a big sexy brain. Dude. If I... How did I not hear you guys say that in chat last time? What? Literally the whole stream? Really? Rush should reach- I do read chat! Sometimes I'm just busy! I got things to make and places to be! Stop bullying me! Dude, oh my god, this level's gonna look so much nicer now. Because I can actually use the pipes. All right, here's what we're gonna do. Um, how much more level do we have left? Nothing, okay, cool. So, boss room, I guess. You know what? I might need to move that checkpoint. 
Yeah, for real. I, I do. For this to work. Oops. Sorry. <laughs> right, that works. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use the yellow pipe here. And then the yellow pipe, one of the yellow pipes on the ceiling is going to become that. The only thing is that you could actually bail on the level or the boss fight. Which I guess isn't a bad thing. I don't really want to have a one-way door though. You know what I mean? Having a one-way door is so... Like, I can do that, but it's like... It feels kind of cheap. Yeah, I guess I could do that. I don't really want to. But yeah, now, now you can't get out. Wait, hold on, what? If you're going to have only one mole pipe, maybe make the other one the entrance pipe. Not a bad idea. Honestly, not a bad idea. I'll give you that. That's a good fucking idea. Big sexy brain, chat. Big sexy brain. You think I should enter from the left pipe? I think you're right. I think we need to swap the pipes. Oh, 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 that sucks. Oh, that sucks so hard. You know, I could actually do this. Like, imagine, imagine this, right? Maybe this would be a better boss fight, right? So it's kind of a little higher risk to come into the mid. Right? Because he can still do that. Interesting. Honestly, this feels better. Make the mid higher risk. Oops. Oh, I actually like this. Because then it's like more of a dodging game here. It feels better. And it doesn't feel like you can get pinned in the corner with the with the twister. Okay, uh, I think this level's done. I think. I guess. I'm. I, you know what? I just realized I haven't done the start of the level yet. <laughs> I haven't even designed this. I haven't start. I haven't designed the end. The end or the, the start of the end of the level. So let's do that real quick. There we go. All right. Icicle on the ceiling. Yeah, we could do that. I think that's. Then we can get the odd the odd um, person that somehow managed to die here. And I'll put in some of these. There we go. It's doable. All right, I think this is good. I think we're done. I think we're ready to upload. All right, terrible start so far. Terrible start. That's one death. Okay. All right, off to a terrible start. Oh, come on! So far, so good. So far, so good. No! Oh, god damn it! Shit! Oh! That way. Oh, I might actually make the boss this time. Oh, yeah, I think I'm gonna make the boss. Oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, 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 okay, we're at the boss. This could be the, the quickest uh, completion I've had in a while.
I have a feeling that most most of the uh, attempts here are all going to be from uh, failing on the boss. But let's find out. No, no. Really, really, really. I've managed to make the mall malls not be a big problem. That's pretty cool. Oh, fuck, oh, fuck. Oh! oh no. I think I got this down to a science. Maybe. No! Oh, god damn it! Are you fucking kidding me? Immediately? Oh, that's bad. Oh, that's bad. YouTube. Oh. Oh. Oh, that's tough. <laughs> that's tough. Oh. Okay, so we gotta do this from the checkpoints now. Oh, we're doing the boss first. Oh my god. I played aggressively that time. It's okay. Right, I got, I got, I got booted at the beginning. Oh, okay, it's okay. We got the checkpoint. Okay, so if only I could pull off that expert, expert, expert. Cause we, we got two checkpoints that I gotta do. Luckily, I, I'm pretty confident I can. No, 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 no. Just take it. Just take it. Just take it. Take it like a strong boy. Woo! I'm so mad. I'm so mad. Well, at least I know the level works. Cause I'm mad. Which means the level works. No. Oh, fuck me. Uh-oh, that's actually bad. Being pinned here is bad. It's bad. It's bad. Nope, I'm still here. I'm still here. That is if I beat this in time. No, no, no. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it! Oh! Okay, we got one more checkpoint. We got one more checkpoint. Whatever. Oh, look at- dude, look at that sweat. <laughs> Didn't mean to show you, the, you guys that, but, uh... Noah, don't zoom in on that. Okay, so here's how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna spin, run, jump. Spin, run, jump. And then, he's gonna go down. Gonna bop him on the head. And then I'm gonna... Spin, run, jump. No! No! Fucking mall. No. No, no, no. I don't have anywhere to go. I don't have anywhere to go. No. No. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. Uh, I'm so stressed. Oh. Okay, he doesn't do his left, right, left, right anymore. He's just pure. Oh! This side of screen is bad. It has malls. I do not like malls. They are bad. Malls, 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 malls. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. I'll take it. Thank you. Thank you for this meal. I'll take it. Fuck, 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 fuck. Oh, shit on my pants. Shit. No, no. Oh. Yes. I'm outie. Fuck yeah. Woo, baby. Ooh, that feels good! Oh, yeah. <sighs> Hi, YouTube, what's up? That marks the end of the underground world. Oh my god. What are we calling the level? Uh, I liked Roy's Twisted Tunnel. 
What about Roy's Twisted Mall Hall? Hello, YouTube. Twisted Mall Hall? Twisted Mall... I like... I like Mall Hall. The code level is H. Yes, H. I'm stealth foreign. H5G8V22GF. Thank you very much for watching me create the underground world. I appreciate you guys coming by so much, as always. And if you want to, uh, you know, see more of these builds, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell. Leave a comment if you enjoyed it on YouTube. Hi, YouTube. And if you want to catch these builds live, you can head to twitch.tv slash rubber ninja where you can be like these beautiful people in the chat uh, and help us build levels. We're nearly done. This is uh, 30, kind of. We're, we deleted two of the levels. We're going to be going back and fixing them and re remaking them a bit, but we're nearly there. We're nearly there. We're in the, the last stretch. Alpha Rad and I are talking about doing another level together. We've got the, the boss world soon. It's really coming to a close. I cannot believe that we are where we're at. Thank you so much for your support. I appreciate it so very, very much. Um, and uh, yeah, see you in the next video. Bye. Hi guys, Ross here. Mind if I draw with you for a second? Just wanted to say thank you so much for your support on these builds. We're so close to the end of the first Super Ross world. I'm so excited to finally see people playing this world, content creator and viewer alike. I hear from so many people that these videos and streams have helped them through this difficult year, which means a lot to hear. My editor, Noah, and I are so happy to have started this channel recently and are blown away by how much support we've received here and on Twitch. That being said, if you're new here, how about you check out some of these other videos? And if you enjoyed this one, please consider subscribing and hitting that bell. See you next time, guys.